to any man rising at any hour if he has anything very particular to do. And he happens to wake in about half past two or a quarter to three and he's lying in his bed there, you know, lying there, wasting his time looking at the roof, if he can see it in the dark. Just like, well, my advice is rise and have a bit smoke. Ah, and a drink if you're dry. And you'll be dry in the morning if you haven't drunk enough, drank enough the next before. However, as I was going to tell you about my brother Joe, when I came home the other next day, Joe was sitting at the fire with his elbows on his knees and his face in his hands and he's sitting there, you know, and the tears streaming down his cheek like rain. I said, what's the matter with you, Joe? Oh, he said, Jimmy, he said, I'm, I'm thinking about the national debt. Ah, well, I said, you'll be dead years and years before the national debt half paid. I said, Joe, don't. He says, I've always told you, and I'm going to tell you again, that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. I said, Joe, you're all wrong. Listen to me. Early to bed, lie as long as you can, eat ham and eggs, and you'll soon be a man. Oh, I tell you, Joe, eh? <laughs> Oh, it's night to get up in the morning when the sun begins to shine. At four or five or six o'clock in the good old summer time. Or when the snow is snowing and it's murky overhead. Oh, it's night to get up in the morning. I bet it's night to the line your bed. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.